and the summer of love hit. The community was total craziness. There was thousands of young people on the streets. I opened the Haight-Ashbury Free Clinic in June of 1967. After interning at San Francisco General, I uh, studied clinical toxicology here at UCSF. As a result, I became the local drug expert and ran the alcohol and drug abuse screening unit. The streets were jammed. There was tour buses seeing the hippies. There was the rock music going on in the park, the Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplane, Janis Joplin. All the kids were tripping out on drugs. The city actually tried to stop us through its regulations. And we went to them to try to have a regionalized health clinic, and they said, no, you can't do it. So we found an old dentist's office at 558 Clayton Street. When they opened the doors, there was about 250 young people lined up down the street. And they came in with gonorrhea and cut feet and colds and pneumonia because they came from all over the country and they thought it was sunny in San Francisco in the summer and it wasn't and it was make love not war and uh, so there was all the sex and there was all the drugs and there was all the lifestyle and so we were jammed from day one running 24 hours a day. You had a stigmatized, discriminated against population because you didn't like how they looked, you didn't like what they did, you didn't like the fact that they were taking drugs, you didn't like the fact that they were protesting against society, and therefore you were going to deny them health care, let them die, and make them go away. And that's when I first said health care is a right, not a privilege. May 1967, that became the founding slogan of the Haight-Ashbury Free Clinic, and then became the founding slogan of the National Free Clinic Movement, because after we started our clinic, there was about 400 free clinics nationwide. A large number of the UCSF students, residents, nurses, some faculty from all disciplines, including the School of Pharmacy, uh, volunteered at our clinic and supported us. And the first major support I got was from Dr. Phil Lee as chancellor. He was probably the most important person to me at UCSF because we had this kind of underground activity that was getting a lot of publicity. The, uh, Dr. Lee, who was chancellor, said, David, you're doing the right thing. I'm very much a product of the 60s, touched by the counterculture revolution, and I just believe that if you have enough forces aimed at the right thing, that eventually it'll arc towards justice.